hey guys and welcome back to our how to create series and today I'm going to show you how to create a menu icon you can see this is the menu icon and this is the animated menu icon so when we click on it it turns into a cross symbol so we are going to create both of these one by one and I'm going to use sublime text you can choose any text editor of your choice then start writing then create a HTML tag if the color of the tag does not change what you can do is uh, you can save the file as an HTML document let me just quickly save this and you can see that the color of the tag has changed now write HTML and autocomplete will show you the option you can hit enter and all of these statements will be filled in automatically by the text editor then add the language attribute to the HTML tag and write EN that is for English then write the title as how to create series then menu then menu icon create a meta tag then create another meta tag for uh, ensuring proper rendering and touch zooming in mobile phones and other touch screen devices write meta space name viewport then content as width equals device hyphen width comma initial hyphen scale equals one then drop down and get inside the body tag write create a div tag write class container then create another div tag and write class as bar then copy this statement and paste it twice so that we have three lines in the menu icon now create a style tag and delete this type attribute and uh, now let's start with the CSS part write dot container so that we can add some padding write padding as 25 pixels all around then write dot bar width as 35 pixels height as 5 pixels then background hyphen color as black you can write the name of the color or write the X code then write margin as 6 pixels space 0 6 pixel is for the top bottom and 0 is for the left right now let's save this and open in the browser so you can see that we have created the menu icon the static one and now let's create the animated menu icon which turns into a cross symbol when we click upon it so let's create a new file then copy all the statements from this one 
and paste them in the new file and and delete the styling part and save this file give it a name and dot html extension save it then open the file in the browser so that we can evaluate or we can see the progress in the browser side by side let me just change the name of the class first one to bar 1 second one to bar 2 and the third one to bar 3 so that we can uh, style these classes individually then get in between the style tags and write dot container then display as inline hyphen block cursor as pointer and padding as 25 pixels then drop down and write dot bar 1 comma dot bar 2 comma dot bar 3 and write width as 35 pixels height as 5 pixels then background hyphen color as hash triple 3 and margin 6 pixels space 0 6 pixels is for the top bottom and 0 is for the left right then transition as 0.4 s then save this and open in the browser so you can see that we have the icon bar but it is not animated yet now let's add animation drop down and begin with the comment so basically what we are going to do is we are going to rotate the first and the last bar when we click on the menu icon and make the middle bar disappear so write dot animate space dot bar one write hyphen webkit hyphen transform then write rotate minus 45 degree space translate minus 9 pixels comma 6 pixels then drop down and write transform rotate 45 degrees then space translate minus 9 pixels comma 6 pixels okay then drop down and write a comment fade out the second bar write dot animate space dot bar 2 and write opacity as 0 this will make the bar as 100% transparent then drop down and write comment then let me just copy this the styling of the first bar and paste it and we can change the bar 1 to bar 3 3 and then change minus 45 degrees to just 45 degrees in both the statements and minus 9 pixels to minus 8 pixels then comma minus 8 pixels same with the second statement minus 8 pixels and minus 8 pixels And now we need to add some JavaScripts. Write script, hit enter. Then write function space 
my animation in bracket right x then open bracket type x dot class list dot toggle then double inverted commas and write animate so what this function will do is that when we click on that menu icon it will add this class animate to the container now let me just quickly add on click attribute to our container class get in the div tag which contains the class container and add on click attribute and write my animation and within bracket write this so when we click on that menu icon the javascript is going to add this animate class to our container so the bar 1 will become animate bar 1 similarly the bar 2 will become animate space bar 2 and the bar 3 will become animate space bar 3 and when we click on the menu icon again then this animate class will be taken away so now let's open in the browser and click on the icon and you can see that we have the desired animation so this completes this video as well and uh, i'm going to see you in the next video thanks for watching